Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to run a Windows XP emulator off your R4 card, and this works on pretty much every Nintendo DS. So the link is in the description. It's going to be a Google Drive link. Uh, the program is called Nintendo's XP. It's basically just like a sort of like emulator joke kind of program. It's nothing serious. But if you guys want to test it out just for fun, you can go ahead and download it. So the file is really small, so once it's downloaded, head over to your downloads folder. So here it is guys, Nintendo's XP, what you want to do is just right click it and then do extract here. It's then going to give you the NDS file. So if you can see, you go on properties. As you can see, it's not even 1 megabyte, it's 857 KB. So what we're going to do guys is just going to copy this to the root of my R4. My R4's SD card is plugged in right now, so just copy that across. So as you can see it copied across in like a split second. So once it's copied across you can just disconnect your R4's SD from your PSP. So once it's copied across you can disconnect your R4's SD card from your computer, put it into any DS of your choice and see how good it is. Right guys, so I chose to play this game on my 3DS, so I'm going to show you guys what to do. Um, I would recommend using the pen or stylus for this, so what you want to do is just open up your R4. Right, so um, it will probably look like this, so you want to just go onto your micro SD card, then just scroll down. Here it is, it's got like the Windows XP logo on it, Nintendo DS um, XP, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start that. So as you can see it just boots on. Um, I did try this earlier and it actually had a setup screen so I don't seem to have it this time which is kind of weird. But as you can see you can use the mouse around here. Um, you can switch from keyboard to mouse um, using these two options. Um, it works if I... For some reason the mouse button didn't work for me so what I had to do is press Y on something. So I can go to all programs. It's got Minesweeper, Calculator. Um, let me just show you some stuff. So if you open up my computer um, give it a few seconds to load. This will actually load all of the files on your SD card, so that's actually pretty cool. I'm not actually sure if you can do anything with them, but it displays them, so you can just cross that off. Um, let's open up Notepad. You can actually um, write on this, so if I go onto the keyboard, you, you, know, you can input like text and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to write on this, but it's kind of cool. So it's also got a calculator right here. So I tried this earlier and I'm pretty sure it didn't actually work. So let's just give it a try now. So we've got 8 or oh, 88 minus, let's do um, 8. So now I'm not actually sure what the equals sign is on here. Is it that? That went to 704. So yeah. I guess I can try something else. Let's try um, four. Let's try square root. Yeah, so this thing doesn't seem to work that well. Maybe backspace works. Yeah, so not having a working calculator is probably not that good. But anyway, you can just um, close out of that. So what does work though is a Minesweeper, so I was actually kind of impressed with this. If you want to play Windows Minesweeper on your DS then this is perfect. This thing actually works as you can see. Let's just do a quick game. Okay I died, but there you go, Minesweeper works well and I think that's pretty cool. To X out of Minesweeper you can just, actually you can reset the game by clicking the face right here. And you can play again or you can just go to game up here um, and then exit yeah so this is pretty much everything on here it's got some options here with like screen brightness and stuff like that it's got some it says ram here that doesn't work for me at all so i'm not sure but yeah anyway um it also has shut down but apparently this crushes it so i'm just going to try it now so it happens 
and let's do turn off apparently this just crashes your DS <laughs> maybe I can back out time yeah I can alright so that's pretty much it for this video so if you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one